Let's go Jimmy first. Where do you fall in this debate and why? Well, yeah, I I, I put the shirt I put the shirt on especially. I don't know if you can see that. Wow, what a shirt. Yeah, so, Did so you I get put that, that on track. I, I put that on because I, I knew I knew Grant wanted to talk about uh, about Jimmy. So mm -hmm. um so so yeah, I, I mean if I've got the shirt, that means I like Jimmy, yeah. So sure. um so that's the thing. Um um but if if and and again, this show this show is coaching one hundred and one. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, and and most of the stuff we talk about is the play calling and that kind of thing. Yeah. However, assessing the quarterback that is the coach's job. Yes. That's yes, it. it. Is. Yes. Okay. So so yeah. So I've, look, I've heard all the commentary. Uh, every, everyone's put in their two cents worth. Or uh, well, in Australia, it's two cents. Um, so so yeah, I've I've heard pretty much everything. Um, so, God, let's have a quick look at it. Um, there, there's quite a lot to it. First of all, if we're sitting in the coach's box, the first thing we want to do is assess the strengths and weaknesses again of a particular player. Okay. Now now he's he's got some strengths. Really has. His his handoffs. He disguises them. They're elite. And they really yes. are, I swear. And, and I'm and not even being funny. He's really good at handing the ball off. I know, he I really know. Is. And his play fakes are just as good. Yes, yes. And it's very important exactly. for this offense. Yes, you're right. Exactly. So so when I'm looking at that, I'm actually ranking him number one in the competition okay. for that part of for that part okay. of it. Okay. Yeah, right. All I'm right. Number one, no doubt. Okay. Um, he's also he's got a, he's got a quick release. And he's not – he's good as long as the first read is there. Yes. Okay, so that's the thing. Um, okay, so uh, they're the positives. On the negative is um, – on the negative is, is his reading of, you know, his progressions. He, he, you know, his second read, third read. There's, see the there's, very well. there's the problem. And um, – and here's the thing. I'd like everybody to sort of picture, put yourself in the quarterback's position, right? And what it is, if you if you look downfield, you, you can see the numbers, okay? Now, the thing for Jimmy, he can't really throw me outside the numbers. So nope. it's inside the numbers, and there's a certain... 20 yards. Level. There's 20 a certain yards. level. And it's, not, and it's not very far. Maybe 15. <laughs> yes. So he's got a and, box. Yeah. So that he's so that's the box. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, he's like a so basketball Grant, player who can't shoot threes. He just has to get in close. Yes. So so the thing is, like Grant likes chess. Now, if I'm playing chess, yeah, everyone's different. But if I'm playing chess, I don't want to lose the queen early. Right. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, you, then you lose. Yeah. yeah, and I I don't even want to exchange queens. No, right. that's not happening. Because no. why do I want the queen? Because I want to take the deep shot. You want to want the queen for the end game. I want to go long. I want to set it all up and then go Ooh. for the checkmate right. at the right time, right to right. the end. Now, if if I'm a coach and and my quarterback has only this much of the field to yes. play with, yes, it, it's, it's it's like I'm playing one of with one of the knights. You know the horses. It's like you don't have a queen exactly. That's, yep. all, that's all I've There's got. There's no one who can go all the way. Yep. Very hard to win. You're, so, oh, you're making little moves, little hops. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you. You know, you. So, so that's all very nice, but you, you don't even have a bishop. You don't even have a rook because those can go from one end to the other. It's true. Exactly. Hey, well, exactly. Before we move on from Jimmy, let me yes. add one thing to his weaknesses because there's one weakness I think that people don't talk about enough. He got hurt. He doesn't have a great offensive line, but I think he lacks what I would call natural instincts to avoid a pass rush. Uh, Tom Brady has him. Russell Wilson has him. Uh, Mahomes has him. I think there's just way too many situations where Garoppolo gets sacked or is rushed where he could avoid the rush and he kind of just doesn't know what to do. I think he has really poor feel for avoiding a pass rush. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. And, and the perfect example was the game that just happened. It, it, it was Russell Wilson's movement inside and outside the pocket. Yes. That won that game for them. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, and there's Jimmy's a reason that Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt right away and then got hurt a second time 
when when Nick Mullins made it about how much eight eight starts without getting hurt. I mean, Mullins has a better feel of moving in the pocket than Jimmy. Jimmy is kind of a sitting duck back there. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mullins the same. I just look at it and I go, here are the positives, here are the negatives, and uh, you know, it's exactly the same thing. Same with CJ. Same with everyone. So, so you know, that's the big thing. He's a statue there. So you know, he he does put 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 the number three on Jimmy in Seattle. He doesn't win that game. Oh, he doesn't win that game on Sunday. No. And what it's I think a lot, of, a lot of Niner fans are obsessed with mobility, like how fast a quarterback is. It doesn't really matter. Colin Kaepernick ran a 4-5, but wasn't particularly – he didn't have great instincts to avoid a pass rush. Tom Brady is the slowest quarterback in the league, and he is a genius at just sliding, moving, keeping his eyes down the field. That's the skill. And to me, it is like – a 40 time for a wide receiver. It's God given. I don't know that you necessarily can improve on it. It's something that Tom Brady has. It's something that Jimmy Garoppolo does not have. And when people talk about a tools of a quarterback, they should be looking at that stuff, not arm strength. Arm strength is something you can work on. Yes. That's what I'm saying. My little spiel. Very good. Very good. Yep. Um, so sorry if I'm talking too much and not giving you a chance, Grant, but, but you said sorry, you had a right in. I'm okay. You, had, you said you had a sore throat, so I thought, yeah. <laughs> I had a team team player, you know? back. No, I'm good. Uh, is um, there anything else you want to say about Jimmy, or should we move to Kyle? Because I don't want to. I don't want to rush. No, no, this, no, no. This this is really important because because I've got a big okay. one for Jimmy. Okay. okay. So so I've heard all the conversations. I've heard all the arguments. Right. I've heard all the pro Jimmys out there. That's that's fine. I respect that. Um, but here's the thing. Here's what I'm hearing. I, I heard a funny one the other day, and. I heard a funny one the other day, and uh, the guy said that Jimmy is the twentieth best quarterback. Mm-hmm. 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 That's an opinion, okay? That's not necessarily mm-hmm. true, but anyway, twentieth best quarterback. He's the eleventh highest paid. Good point. Okie doke. So you, what you're saying is he's overpaid. Yes. And and underachieved. Yes. And then he's. And then his conclusion was, therefore, we should keep him. I'm like, hang on a minute. What point are you arguing here? I don't get this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they should keep him. I don't think we should keep If he's the 20th best quarterback and he's the 11th highest paid court, uh, quarterback in the league, you got to go. You cannot yeah. be paid that much money. Sorry. And you can't even stay okay. on the field. No, nah, you got to go. Yeah. So, so I'd like to say something. I've heard all the arguments, right? Here it is. This is it. Okay. Um. People, the big thing that people say is he's cheaper. You know, Russell Wilson's thirty-five million a year. He's only twenty-seven million, right? Only, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, but you know, like you know me, Grant. I'm um, accounting background. Um, mm. So, so I analyze it to the death. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the way I see it. Uh, let's look at. We can look at this year. We can look at the last three years. Let's look at the last three years. Okay. Now yeah. this is the way I this is the way I analyze it. I, and you can and you can talk Aaron Rodgers. You can talk Russell Wilson. All the high paid. All the high paid. Patrick Mahomes. All of them. But they're top. They're elite. Okay. So here's the thing. Okay. Let's look at Russell Wilson. He's on thirty five million a year. If that if I'm correct. Yeah. Okay. So so for the last three years we're talking one hundred and five million. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's you know, um, and then you've got Jimmy. He's been paid eighty, only eighty five, only eighty five mm-hmm. million. Mm-hmm. So Jimmy's cheaper, right? Mm-hmm. Is he? Let's have a look at this for a second. Russell Wilson has played about fifty two games or so in that period. So he costs the Seahawks two million dollars per game. Right. Okay. Jimmy has played about 21, 22 games. Eighty-five yeah. million dollars divided by four. He's on four million dollars per game. He is more expensive. That's a good point. Than Russell than Wilson. Everyone. Do you than know what? Everyone. Guess what, Brad? I, I've sort of done the figures on all the quarterbacks. Guess what? Jimmy G is the most expensive quarterback per in game. the entire league. Per Number game. one. Per game. Number because one. He misses half of his starts. Yeah, you're right. The, the most Quarter expensive. Man. Yeah. Now, no analyst has ever g- given you that. Did did I blow your I mind? I love it. There? That's an it's a very interesting angle for what the Niners have paid him and what he's given back. They've paid him like 
four million dollars per start, and I guarantee that Jed York knows it, and it burns him up. I mean, it's even worse. Even if you just look at this year, what's he played? Uh, maybe two games and two half quarters, so half games, so like oh. three games. I think he played million. six. And he played nine six million. games. And he We're paying nine million a game this year. I mean, that's, that's right. crazy. That's yep. the most expensive quarterback in the entire competition. That's right. And that's nothing compared uh, to 2018 when they paid him all that signing bonus and all that stuff for three games. Yeah. Problem is, in 2018, he had a real injury. This year, it was like, are you, do you still want to play? What's up with that ankle? Yeah. And, he is really and, expensive. And, and you and know, one more player. thing, one more thing. He's really yeah. expensive, and his number one skill is handing off. I think you could find someone who hands off equally well for a little cheaper. I think you yeah. can. Back to, back to what we talked about. You're, you're employing a quarterback to throw the ball. Yes. That's that's, that's the number one job. That's, that's the most true. important thing. So so that's a must. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little funny side note. Um, uh, when I when I've done that analysis on all the quarterbacks, guess who's the best value quarterback based on games played, based on um, who, who's who's only getting like a hundred and thirty grand a game? Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins. Yeah, Nick King. Mullins, baby. Of course. So, so you cannot. You, people cannot compare the two. Forget that. No. It's it's apples no. and oranges. No. No. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Nine million to start. This guy got. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. Did you like that? So I love it. That was great. That was so brilliant. I love it. Sorry. So we're paying four million a game. So did you like no. that one? Got to go I, for four million a game. You should no. have Josh Allen plus Patrick Mahomes together. Yes. You should have the yes. greatest quarterback of all time by far. Can't have it. So, so, so in conclusion, yes, we have to. Yes, we have to cut Jimmy. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Um, and, and, the, and, and the other thing is, you know, people are ranking him the 20th best quarterback. Well, I don't see it that way because, because that, that's, that's just an opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I don't, yes. I, I don't like to give an opinion. What I, okay. I've got a question for you, Grant. If he's the 20th best, best quarterback. Okay. That means there are 12 teams that should be tripping over themselves to grab him as the number one starter. Can you name me those 12 teams? Good point. Good point. I can, That's a good I can, point. I can only name one or two. So for me, I don't I don't make an opinion as to where he's ranked. I I look at this, I look at the facts. The evidence. And the look facts, at the evidence. Yeah. The facts tell me he's at about number 30, 35, somewhere in there. Okay. Sorry. It's not me. It's not right. the only teams that I think. Are, oh, I, I think you're it. right. I think if the Niners cut Jimmy Garoppolo based on his season, his this year, his lack of durability, I don't think any team would give him a starter's contract. The best he would get is the ability to compete, even in New England. If he went back to New England, they could still draft a guy in the second round and say, "Sorry, Jimmy, we really like you, but this guy's 22." Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. It's exactly. And, uh, yeah. So, so my so my prediction is that uh, he should be he should be cut, right? And and it's he a trade value. He didn't have trade value. And, and, it, and it's not only that; it's a total accounting analysis. What what you want to do is what you know. We're just people are just looking at the cost side, the expense side of the of the sheet. So, but I look at the income side as well. Okay. So mm -hmm. here's the thing: when you What's the difference for the 49ers on the on the revenue generating side between winning the Super Bowl and losing the Super Bowl? What's yeah. the cost? There? What's the what's the loss of revenue? It is huge. huge. So if you so if you want to if you want to look at the quarterback, you you don't only look at the at the expense side of the equation. You don't only look at what 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 we're paying him. That that's that's nothing. That's half the you know, and I, I look at everything. You know, I look at merchandise sales. I look at everything. So, mm -hmm. but but the loss of revenue for not winning, yep. having a six and ten record, the yep. loss of revenue is huge. I mean, we're talking, we're talking. So he's really costing us, yeah, millions and poor yeah. Jed. I feel for That's it. You know? That's right. Because you can spend forty million dollars uh, a year on Patrick Mahomes, he'll make it back for you. It's it's a so that's a good investment. So you it's can, fine. You can Russell sell his Wilson. jersey. You can sell his likeness. You can win. You can go to the playoffs. You can sell everything. Exactly. Jimmy's just a sunk cost. Who doesn't play? 
Yeah. So Fans yeah, don't and have I, black I, anymore. yeah, and 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 you would have you would have known my opinion from messaging, but I actually thought we, we made a we made an error executive decision um, with Jimmy because at the start at the start of the year, when the Patriots crazy um, offered a first round pick apparently, and taking that That's contract. Cool. Off, and taking that contract off my hands, I'm like, deal. I'll pack his bags for him. Honestly. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, and, deal. And, and, and you know, from my messaging from ages ago, so I'm, so I'm not talking I've seen the season and I've seen what's happened and, and his injury and all that. Because in my, in my risk analysis at the start of the year, I'm factoring in the fact that he can't move in the pocket. I'm factoring in the fact that he could possibly get injured. I'm factoring everything. That he can't everything. throw down the field, that he can't throw outside the numbers, and that's a big reason you lost the Super Bowl. Yes, yes. So so, and so, when someone like Tom Brady becomes available and, and Tom wants to come to us, fantastic. And then you're talking merchandise sales, if you want to look at that side of it, fantastic, because there's going to be a lot of Tom Brady buying of, of every He's little- from the know, Bay Area. Yeah. He's yes. from here. Oh, yes, my God. And he wants and he wants to come here and and uh, have a look at his career. Tom Brady's already richer than God. So so what's so does he really want to come for money? No, he wants to come to a winning team. So he's going to come and he will play for only twenty mil or some some you know minuscule amount. I don't amount. know what he played, but whatever it was, whatever Tampa's paying him, the Niners should have should have paid him that. He won't care because he he's already said I want to I, I want to be in California and you know and Giselle will be happy and everything's good. So. Uh, so that that's really what should have happened, and I, I think this year would have been a much different, much different year. I can't believe they said no to Tom Brady. I just cannot believe they said yeah, no. So that, that that's a really poor executive. You know, you say if you say we're keeping Jimmy for another year because we want to see, that means that means you haven't you haven't got your glasses on. Uh, you, you're not because I, I saw it last year. What I are you there looking at? For me to see. You know, I, you know, I, you know, Shanahan has done a lot of good things, but his resume is didn't draft Patrick Mahomes, didn't sign Tom Brady. I mean, come look, on. Look, look, look at the AFC. Look at the AFC championship game last year. Uh, uh, Patrick, uh, the Titans were up big time. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes took them to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Look at our one. 20, 220 yards, four touchdowns. Right. Right. Took us to the Super Bowl. Right. Not the quarterback. No. You know, you, You've got to you got to be able to assess previous. Yeah. You, and he knew it. Not, he knew it, but he chickened out. He chickened was, out. Not, yeah, he knew he, it. He, he could chicken out. out again this year. He could. Yeah, he yeah. could. I mean, I mean, now it's too late. You know, and 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 it's like the it's like the stock market. It's um, too late. Yeah. yeah, it's like the stock market. I've I've got one guy that I in particular that I that I um advise on on stocks. And and here's my thing, I I I never want to buy high. And be forced to sell low, right? Which is what the Niners are doing. That's, that's and that's exactly what's happened in this scenario. They could have um, got a first round pick from last year. Now they're going to cut them. Yes, I want to buy low, sell high. That's the only thing we're doing in the stock market. We're not doing yeah. the other thing. 